All right, y'all. I was told that I should start doing this. I told him, I don't know if I have a bigger fan base for this yet. Start talking about my childhood, things that I've done, me and my family, you know, my cousins, my brothers, you know, my uh, aunties, uncles, my mom, dad, you know, granddad, grandma, stuff like that, friends. And I was like, nah, not right now. I don't think people want to hear that. But the shit I see on YouTube, if people can listen to that bullshit and watch that bullshit, maybe someone will listen to this. Maybe they'll call this bullshit when I'm talking about it. It is what it is, though. But this is my fucking childhood. It's things I did. And I, I got one story in particular that I always think about. And every single time I think about it, I can't believe that we actually did that shit. And this is involving my brothers and my cousins. My cousin Marty, my cousin Jason, and my cousin Corey. And my brothers, Vincent, Terrence, and my late brother, Soup, who's no longer with us. He's up in the heavens now. We miss you, bro. And, and growing up in Chicago, there was a lot of shit that you can do. It was, I mean, so many things that you can do out there. And back then, you know, there were no cell phones. So you actually had to go out and have fun. You had to be in the house before the street lights came on. But you were allowed to, you know, walk the neighborhoods, go, you know, go blocks and blocks. As long as you back before that street light came on, you good. And we used to do a lot of flipping. That was like a big thing with us growing up, flipping. West Side Chicago. And there was nothing more fun than flipping in a fucking alley on dirty ass mattresses. I know a lot of y'all can relate to this. A lot of you motherfuckers that grew up in the 80s and 90s who used to go outside and have fun, you know, playing catch one, catch all, hang on see. Freaky Friday, monkey in the middle, red light, green light, you know, all that shit. Uh, double Dutch, hopscotch, all that shit, man. Uh, spin the bottle, all type of shit. Rock man. Man, it was so much shit that you can do back in the days. You know, on Halloween, motherfuckers get together and uh, be out at night throwing eggs. You know, we did all that shit growing up, man, for real. But this one particular memory, man. <laughs> I can't believe that we did that shit for real. And I know y'all remember this. Bros, cousins, all of y'all that's gonna watch this. <sighs> I don't know what day it was exactly, because this is too long to think about, but I know it was the summertime. It was hot as fuck outside. And we were trying to come up with a, a place to flip, you know. So, and we didn't have no mattresses. Like, we didn't have no, the springs, the, the mattress that we had, them motherfuckers was gone. It had rained the mattress out and it didn't have no more spring, no life in those dirty ass mattresses. And when I say dirty mattresses, y'all, I legit mean dirty mattresses from the alley. That's just how I used to, that's what we used to do back then. And, you know, I was the king of flipping on the mattress, you know. We always used to play follow leader. Everybody had to follow behind me because I was the best on the mattresses, you know what I'm saying? It's just like that. I was just great at flipping. Everyone was, but I was just the king of flipping, you know what I'm saying? Still can flip to this day at my age. Can't do it how I used to do it, but I still can flip. But um, I remember we always trying to figure out what we're going to get these mattresses from. And I remember me and my cousin Marty... We had, uh, I don't know what we was walking that day, but I know we came across some mattresses and we had went back to my cousins and his brothers, my brothers, friends and shit. And we was like, we found these mattresses. And we had to literally walk blocks and blocks and blocks to get to where them dirty ass mattresses was. Broad daylight, hot as hell, we got mattresses lifted over our head. 
person in the front, person in the back on each side. And we are literally running up the dirt, the streets, big at like cars flying up and down the streets, people walking up and down the streets. We got fucking dirty ass mattress lifted over our head and we running, getting back to where we gonna put the mattress so we can flip. And we literally walked blocks with these mattresses, y'all. We got to our destination. But can I tell you how embarrassing that shit was? I mean, it wasn't embarrassing to us back then, but now just thinking about it. But see, it was so normal back in those days in Chicago. And when people see that, it wasn't nothing. Like, oh, these, these little dirty motherfuckers, they just carrying mattresses. They ain't shit. They already knew what we was going to do. We was going to put the mattresses in the alley and flip. Because you've seen that in so many different alleys. People flipping on mattresses. That's just the shit. That was just the thing back in the day. But that memory sticks to me so much because we, together as a family, decided to do that. We didn't give a fuck about how it looked or, you know, carrying dirty ass mattresses on our head. That's already can cause, you no know, shit. But we, back then, you didn't care about catching nothing. You didn't care about germs and none of that shit. You just wanted to have fun outside. For real, that's all you wanted to do was have fun. And running th running the streets with them mattresses on our head, y'all trying to get, we had a box spring. We had two box springs and we had two mattresses, the soft mattresses. Cause you gotta get the springs. That's what mostly what it was about. If you didn't have no springs, then you fucked. You needed springs to do your flips. Cause you get the spring, then you put the mattresses on top. And we used to double the mattresses. You know, the more, the more spring, the more mattresses you get, the higher you jump in the air and shit with your flip. And that's what it was all about, y'all. But we made it. And by the time we got there, we laid, we threw the mattress down. We sat down for a second on them dirty ass mattresses, laid down on them motherfucker. We were so fucking tired. And then we just got to it. We got to doing our thing. And that that's just a memory that sticks with me, will always sticks with me. And I think about that memory damn near every day. Cause it was one of the you know, that that was just a fun memory. But I'm a god, that's just one of my childhood memories i'm gonna keep doing this every other night you know what i'm saying just think just talking about shit that i used to do with my family things i did by myself that y'all are gonna be finding out eventually it was a lot of shit you know what i'm saying but that was just one of my funnest memories i hope y'all enjoyed that i hope my family enjoyed that because i know y'all gonna listen in on this shit make sure y'all hit the comments and put y'all two cents in on what y'all thought about that day because i know a lot of y'all remember that shit so as always peace love and deuces